going on guys? Alex here from PI Paintball and today we are going to make a regulator pressure tester that you can do yourself at home. Sorry, I'm just a bit out of breath. I just did a little bit of running. <laughs> uh, basically what you're going to need is an old ASA from a gun. I have one right here. It's an old Empire on off. Uh, pressure gauge, preferably probably a 300 psi pressure gauge so you'd be able to read the pressure a little bit more accurately. Obviously, you'll need a regulator to test it. And an air source. As you see, this is my impulse with the rag off. Tank on, because you're going to need to hook the regulator up to this piece of macro line. Crescent wrench, adjustable or standard, whatever you can fit around the gauge and the macro fitting. And some Teflon tape. So, we are going to start off with your ASA. So it's either going to have one or two outputs. Uh, this one has two. You'll see on this side there's a plug in the other one that plugs it up. You don't have to worry about that. What you're going to do is take off the macro line fitting on this one. I already have it loose. I'm just going to go ahead and take that off. So you have a big hole right there where the macro line fitting used to be. Take your gauge. It's the same size threads. You're going to go ahead and put some tape on the gauge which I already have a little bit, and you're just going to screw it right into that same hole. We're going to go ahead and screw that in, and make it tight. Alrighty, so if it's an on-off, that on-off isn't going to matter anymore. Um, I'm going to just leave it off, doesn't really matter. So now we have an ASA with a gauge on it. And there is your pressure tester. Very, very simple. Where to get a gauge? You can either um, order one offline or go to your paintball shop, your local shop, and they'll have some extra gauges floating around maybe from old tech stuff. Or uh, you can actually just buy these from companies as well. So you can either go grab one online, go grab your shop, or if you get an extra one laying around with some spare parts, you can go ahead and use that. Again, I suggest a 300 PSI gauge anymore and it'll be hard to tell what the exact amount of uh, pressure is that number is going to be. So uh, let's go ahead and try it out. I've got my regulator. So regulator, the threads that go will go into a gun. Obviously this doesn't include, this is for standard threaded regulators. Um, eclipse regulators are a bit different. Newer eclipse regulators are a bit different because the, the body of the gun actually has the threads that go into the regulator. You do need a specialized pressure tester just like this one for that. And Die Harper 3 rigs that come stock on die guns are gonna be different as well. The, uh, the actual threads on the piece on the regulator are a lot smaller. So you do need the specialized Die Hyper 3 reg tester for that. However, if you bought a Die Hyper 3 reg aftermarket for your own gun, they do come in the standard size threads, just like this one off my impulse. So what we're going to do is we're going to screw the reg right into the ASA. It's the same threads that a tank would be. We're going to go ahead and screw that on. Then you're going to take your air source. Right now I've got the tank on my impulse the, on the ASA. I'm going to take the macro line and plug it right into the reg just like it would be if the reg was on the gun, but the pressure tester is on our reg. So we're gonna go ahead and do and just turn on the ASA. Excuse me, I didn't close that. There we go. You don't wanna do that. So make sure that's closed or else you'll have air going everywhere. And right now my gauge is reading 220. So you can see that our gauge is working, air is on, there you go, your own do-it-yourself, make it at home pressure tester for regulators. Because it's pretty standard nowadays that regulators don't have um, gauges on them so you can see the, uh, the output pressure from your high pressure regulator. It's a pretty standard thing nowadays. Um, you're gonna find that on the Axe and the Mini, they have a gauge. Other than that, nothing else really has a gauge anymore. Um, you know, DMs don't have a gauge. Uh, a lot of shockers, if you get them used, uh, won't have gauges. Um, you can put gauges on them, but they don't have them. Um, DMs, uh, you know, obviously 
um, basically anything else. It's just not a common thing to find output pressure regulators anymore. So especially teching and fine tuning that regulator, uh, you really do need to kind of have a pressure tester laying around. So this is a quick, simple solution for a regulator pressure tester. So you don't have to go buy a hundred dollar one. Um, you can make it yourself out of an old ASA and problem solved. Uh, other than that, again, with the, uh, the SL3 reg from Eclipse, those are specialized. You do need a special regulator tester just like this one. Um, you can grab these online. I think they're on eBay for like 30 or $40. Um, so you can go ahead and grab those. Other than that, die Hyper 3 regs that come stock on die guns. You do need a specialized Hyper 3 reg tester just like this one. You can get them from die. I believe they're 50 or $60. Um, very, very good tool to have, especially if you're checking your stuff all the time. It's very, very helpful to properly adjust the pressure in your regulator without just kind of trying to guess. Um, so there you have it guys. Quick, simple way to make your own pressure tester at home. I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions about doing it or the process or the tools involved, just leave a comment in the section and I will do my best to help you guys out. All right, I'll see you guys next time.